Today I just wanted to show you uh, some of the things that we are experimenting with with uh, Google Drive apps, uh, like as you see here, slides. We're also doing some things with drawings and, uh, and Google Docs, or their Word application. And the reason that we're, we're kind of, um, you know, playing around with these, seeing what we can do is just, uh, the thinking behind it is what, what, uh, what sort of the minimum requirement for being able to create something and be very, be very creative, be very artistic, and produce something that's still professional quality. And so I'm not saying that we're there yet, but I'm saying that we are uh, experimenting with, with Google. Uh, one of the things that we like about uh, Google is the simplicity and the uh, collaborative features that are just kind of built in because it's all, it's all on the cloud, it's all a web uh, platform. So uh, this is Google Slides, and I'll just open one of these that I have been working on. This is actually a, um, a forthcoming uh, magazine, if it all works out, for Palmer Creative that will contain lots of tips like this. And, um, I'm not sure exactly how we're going to deliver it yet, but uh, I just wanted to show you both just a project that, uh, that we're working on uh, and uh, create a video about it so that you can see um, maybe you can use this resource for your business or um, rather than you know, buying expensive software, depending on what your needs are, this may work for you. So I'm using Google Slides and it is a presentation application. But one of the things that I discovered is that uh, you can also use it for print design. And under File, you can drop this down and say Page Setup. And this allows you to set up a page um, to a screen, which is the default. You get a standard or widescreen 16 by 9 or 16 by 10. But if you click Custom, you can set this by inches, centimeters, points, or pixels. And so really, you could create a a multi-page document uh, at any size you want it. So I've, I've made mine eight and a half by 11, a standard US uh, printer paper size. And I'm treating each slide here as a page. And if I exported this, I'll do that now, download as a PDF document. And what that's gonna do is download this presentation as a print-ready PDF multi-page document. And uh, we'll give that a second to download. Um, and if you've used Google uh, Docs before, uh, you, you, you're familiar at least a little bit with the interface, but one of the things that Google Docs doesn't do that most word processing applications also do not do is handle uh, object-based uh, arrangements. And what I mean by that is um, a word processor is set up in a way that, like, like basically a digital typewriter. And so you've got, you, you've got margins and you can sometimes insert tables to line things up. But you can't do like, you know, freely moving these things around or creating, you know, multiple text boxes and, uh, you know, group objects and images together or have text flow over an image like this. Um, so this is a very, very simple layout, but um, I think it's pretty close to something that you might, you know, be familiar with seeing in a magazine rack. And that's the approach that I was going for this. It's just something very bright, very colorful, looks professional, and gets the job done. Nothing too fancy, not, not in Photoshop here. I'm not trying to, you know, edit a photo. Um, I'm just using this basically as my layout program. So if I did need to edit a photo, I could take that into Photoshop and um, and uh, do it there and then upload it back into Google Slides. But I just wanted to show you, if I click on these pages, you can see how this sort of emulates a, um, a much, <laughs> much more expensive um, desk desktop publishing solution. Uh, anything would be more expensive than free, but um, you, you know what I mean. Um, 
So I can have text boxes, I can have shapes, I can group things together like this, I can have things flow over each other, I can, and, and Google has done a great job with these smart guides. So I get these smart guides for both uh, uh, you know, centering of an object or at the edge of an object, as well as for, as you see those little blue lines, uh, for spacing or dis distributing of objects. And uh, now I can have as many of these sort of overlapping objects as I want. And this is vector, vector based design. As you see over here, I've got this little sort of radial gradient sitting over here. This is a PNG that I've inserted as an image. And this does support PNGs. And so as you see, you know, I can take it over here and the, the transparency is, uh, is preserved. And command up and down uh, will um, you know, cycle through the, the level of that layer. So I can set it behind something. Say like this, uh, this heading up here. And I'm given that sort of just, a, you know, a nice soft cast shadow behind there. And I can select it and move it off or maybe I want to put it underneath, you know, that text, text box and just kind of pop up through there. So it looks a little bit more like this picture is on top of, you know, this whole, this whole text box. Um, Google Slides and Drawings have plenty of primitive shapes um, that can do quite a bit. And uh, so I just, I just want to encourage you to give it a try. And, uh, and with like any tool, just see if you can push it until it doesn't do what you need it to do anymore before you say you need something that you're going to have to pay for. That's a quick tip from Palmer Creative. Hope you guys have a great week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.